Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will discuss next simple permanent issue, the colon chyma. The learning objectives will be to describe the features of simple permanent tissue and to explain the properties and functions of colon chyma tissue. Now, simple permanent tissue we have discussed is, let us take a quick recap. They are those tissues which are made up of one type of cells and they have become structurally as well as functionally similar. Now they are of three types, parenchyma, colonchyma and sclerenchyma. We have already discussed parenchyma in previous videos. Let us now discuss colonchyma. So colonchyma. Now the colonchyma word originated from a Greek word kola which means glue and enchyma means a tissue. So let me just ask you, have you seen a green stem? So did you ever try bending it? It bends very easily. But when you try to break it, it is very tough to break it. Comparatively, a stick is easier, which is made up of dead tissues. But a young herbaceous stem is very tough to break, but it bends up very easily. But, so this property also helps these young plants in overcoming the environmental stresses. All of this is only because of the colonchyma tissue. So the colonchyma tissue is like a glue, which is binding together the cells and providing rigidity. So, they are the cells which are present in the form of layers or patches below the epidermis that is the outer layer of any stem they are found below it below right below the epidermal layer are found the colonchyma layer cells. They are found in outer part of herbaceous stem in petioles and as well as in leaves midribs. Now, they are always present in the primary body, that is the earlier form, the young plants, colonchyma is present. Now, these cells are living. If they are living, they must have cytoplasm, they must have nucleus, they must have vacuoles in them, but they have thickenings outside them. Uh, so, that is the reason these thickenings form the layer or the patches. Now, the thickening is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. So these cells on their outer layer have thickenings made up of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. They are living cells but they do not have intercellular spaces. The spaces were present in parenchyma if you remember. Now the shape of the cells can be oval, it can be spherical, it can be polygonal. Have you ever seen a celery? Now celery is a little bit hard as compared to the coriander. What is the reason for that? The strings that is the colonchyma cells present in them is responsible for the crunchiness of the celery. So clearly you can see this is a celery stalk. This portion contains colonchyma in it. So this colonchyma when seen under the microscope you can see that there is a thickening of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin in the form of patches and there is a big vacuole. Very clearly you can see this is the longitudinal section that means a, a celery stalk was cut in this manner. This is the longitudinal section and if it is cut this in this manner this is known as a transverse section. So it is cut transversely or horizontally. And what is the function of colonchyma? Now since they are providing thickenings. So there are thickenings present. So these thickenings are providing rigidity and mechanical support to the plant. So that is the reason the young herbaceous stem, however hard you try to break it, it will not break. It will just bend and sway. That is the reason the plants sway in the wind but are not uprooted or broken in the wind. Chloroplast containing colonchyma, those colonchymas which have chloroplast in them since we know they are living cells. They, they will perform photosynthesis. It, it is because of the colonchyma only that the soft tissue, soft organ like leaf also does not tear up in heavy wind. Have you ever seen that the leaves are torn up in the wind? No, right? The reason is because of the presence of colonchyma cells. Thus, to summarize, we can say colonchyma tissue has living cells which are thickened at the corners and the thickenings are made up of cellulose, hemicellulose or pectin. 
The colenchyma tissue provides rigidity and mechanical strength to the plant so that they can face environmental stresses like winds very efficiently. So this was all about colenchyma tissue. In upcoming video, we will discuss about sclerenchyma tissue. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.